back to the B. Jones Style Channel. Can you tell I've been on summer vacation? I've been living it up for like living the easy life, which has been really fun. Uh, but we are back and we're back with YouTube videos and we're back with lots of fun. And I'm so excited because today is going to be a thrifting video, but more of a thrift styling video. We're going to head into the thrift store and I'm going to style outfits in the thrift store. I used to do this uh, in the years past. I feel like I did it a lot. And then I feel like since some of the dressing rooms were closed, I wasn't able to do it as much. And I'm like, I should start doing that again. So that's what we're going to do today is head into the thrift store. I'm thinking I'm just going to go in with the mindset. I mean, it's August, so definitely summer, out August type outfits, but with the eye of a stylist, which is often what I like to do when I'm in thrift stores, is thinking like if I was styling, you know, a movie, a TV series, creating a character, this is how I like to dress, this is how I like to think. If I'm creating a character, how am I dressing that character and what is the outfit that I'm gonna to put together? And I do like to do it from thrift finds because there's something about, I don't know what I'm gonna find. So I'm in here hunting and seeing what could I put together for that character in that movie or that TV series. And uh, that's gonna be me today and I'm gonna bring you into that fun. And so there's really no agenda. I'm not looking for specific things. I'm just going to see what I'm finding and then outfits that I can create from what I'm finding and as much as I can do with accessories even and all of it. And we're going to see, maybe I can do up to three outfits is what I'm kind of shooting for. Well, depends on what I'm finding. I will share what I'm finding. I'm not going to try everything on because I'm not necessarily bringing everything home, but I'm going to let you into my thought process as I find the things uh, what I might put together or the character that might wear it. I don't know. So we're gonna just have fun. It's gonna be super carefree and just a fun little thrifting day. So let's go. I just feel like some August shades that I just found. Been searching through dresses and I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I've been finding. What I really like about this dress is the neckline is a really great scoop neck and it has all these tiers and ruffles on it. Anytime there's tool and flounce, I can't say no. This is just a really pretty kind of 90s floral number. Like a little flutter sleeves and detail here, kind of the neckline is really pretty. So just that's a really pretty color. I mean, if I want to have a full-on chic New York moment, this black, gorgeous dress is Carmen Mark Balvo, and I have a few of his dresses, and it's just beautiful and super slinky. So this is Luella Bartley for Target, and I think Luella was the first designer to collaborate with Target when they did the designer collaborations, and I really loved her and wanted all of her stuff. She's got this kind of like British cool girl vibe about her. And so this, I don't know why, this has nostalgia to me. I'm thinking like if it was ruched up, that could be really cute. This is just a slip, vintage slip. I like it, I don't know, for styling. And I'm not sure this could be kind of mother of the bride. But, I don't know, maybe belted? We're gonna have a fabulous moment. I just hit the jackpot in skirts. Look at this, this is a horse themed midi skirt. I'm wearing jodhpurs today, so I think I'm feeling some horse vibes equestrian. This is also just a really great classic skirt, but I love the pocket detail on it. Okay. I don't know if this is Burberry. No, it's probably not. It's Burberry's made in Italy. You guys let me know. Burberry's made in Italy. It definitely feels luxe. It's incredible pleated. It reminds me of something like Mew Mew, not the minis, but kind of like the classic Mew Mew. This is just a cute little sheer slip that can be great for layering. This is gorgeous vintage. I love the tag, body and soul. This is the one that just, holy cow, amazing.
beautiful painted skirt. So cute. And this is a Liz Claiborne number. Kind of cute. I'm not sure. I feel like if it was styled right. I popped it into tops and I found a few options. I love this vest. It's so great. Look at the scallop on the edge. So what I'm loving right now. This is really a kind of a fun top. Lots of bold color and prints. This is just like a handmade little number which could be this is like a layer, a top, a scarf. I'm not really sure yet. This is a western moment that's so much fun. And oh I found this little white skirt. And then this I liked because there's a lot of ruching detail all over the shirt. And I am definitely very inspired by sailor dressing and nautical right now. Um, I think in my latest email, you can go back and see uh, that I'm inspired by it. Oh, no, 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 it's coming out. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned for the weekly scoop email because I'm talking about how I'm inspired by um, the sailor look and sailor trend. I think it's coming back. And I've been wearing that sailor hat a lot and I just love it. So I'm definitely feeling I can see it showing up here on my cart. I think now I'm going to go through all of this stuff and kind of start to put ideas together and then see where I need to play. So I went through everything and I categorized and put together some outfits and this is turning into a thrift the runway pre-fall because I feel like most of these looks are feeling pre-fall with a little bit of summer left over. This shirt is just so good. I actually love the idea of mixing this print and making it pre-fall, but it could go more summery with these white pieces. I'm thinking very easy breezy dressing. This is definitely a summer look. I mean, I had to style with this amazing skirt. This actually might make into an asymmetric shirt and then layer this underneath and create tears and romance. This is all pre-fall. This is so much of just where I've been in terms of what I'm loving. I love the idea of this pleated skirt. We've got the button down with the kind of interesting ruching. This is a really great vest. And then I love the idea of doing this kind of pop red tie. So this is all the ideas that I'm playing with. so in love very pre-fall it's all the menswear with a little bit of the mew mew magic with the pleated skirt i just added the boots that i was wearing today the mista and they totally work i loved this vest and i felt like this tie was perfect because it was just like that great pop of red right there and i actually like it all kind of hanging out and cool threw on the chanel bag i had today the sunnies the big hoops. I feel like I am ready for, you know, a fashion show, an important meeting, feeling fabulous, loving this pre-fall look. So this is my very summer outfit. I would not wear these shoes. I would wear some really fun colored heels. I love the idea of orange. I took that top and made it into asymmetric. I ended up not layering the dress under it. It was too much and I didn't want it to detract from this amazing skirt but this is just a styling tip i've been taking shorter skirts if they have elastic on the top of them and you can wear it like this just put like a little strapless you know tube top or something underneath or if it's long enough you can belt it at the waist this skirt <laughs> is broken in the back but it's so amazing it has scarecrows on the front and i just think that's a really fun idea and here's my final look I feel like very slouchy, cool, end of summer, lazy days. This top is amazing. I love these huge shoulder pads. It kind of feels nautical and military with like a wild spin on it. Almost looks like a cruise uniform or something. And then pairing it with these really slouchy like linen pants. And I even like it with the Mista boots. I feel like it kind of pulls some of the darker um, like creamy tones from this up here into below. I 
kind of like this. Like it's very cool end of summer. It's like a nautical twist to it. I'm just finishing it up with the Chanel, the Sunnies. It's an attitude, I like it. That was so much fun. I drifted and found some different items. I just like the challenge of seeing what I can kind of come up with, spur the moment with just what's in my cart. And I think it's a fun way to kind of think about thrifting even like what could go together and different ideas that can spark from finding you know, really fun, exciting pieces. There wasn't as many accessories, so I would have loved to add like really great shoes and belts and things like that. But from what I found, I really got excited about pre-fall, about those, you know, days where it's not cold yet, but you can start wearing some of the fall trends. So I think this just has me excited. It's August and we are approaching you know, fall or checking out of summer, not officially yet. There's going to be still some fun summer, you know, styling and fun coming, but I love the idea of fall. I just think it's so much fun to start layering things up a little bit more and adding, you know, darker tones and all of that. So anyways, this was so much fun. This literally, it was like a spontaneous, I'm going to head into the thrift store and style some outfits with you. And so you got to join me. So thank you for following along. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.